a second, guys. Oh, here we go. All right. Good afternoon. And thank you for taking the time to join us here today. The, there is a narrative about uh, the city of New York. This narrative centers around the American dream and how this great city sits at the epicenter of the achievement of that dream. Cubans have a long history and love affair with this city. It has been a place of refuge for many of us and remains a place of endless possibilities for all who land here, whether by choice or flight. The artists who are uh, with us today have felt the sting of displacement, alienation, and loneliness, but have also felt the exhilaration that is attached to living in a city that is always in motion, churning, grinding, and singing. You place this scale of talent here as we see today, and you will get magic. Please help me welcome our magicians today. Ophelia Echevarria, Armando Mareño, Yandy Pavón, and Juan Valdez. Now I'd like to turn the stage over to our first artist, Ophelia Echevarria. Hi. <laughs> uh, very happy to be here. Thank you for coming down. And I'd like to thank, because I'm the first one, I'd like to thank the Cuban Cultural Center one more time um, for this effort and for being so helpful, uh, especially to Iraida Iturralde uh, and uh, Manuel Castedo, my friends uh, in the audience. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, and of course to Laura Blanco and for so beautiful words. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm Ophelia Echevarria and uh, uh, I'm in exhibition in this room to this afternoon. I mean, today uh, my work is one on the on that side with them. Uh, the one is like a, it looks like an island and um, it's made by uh, kind of offices. It's a kind of a, a, a building, office, an offices building that uh, is is a. Um, it's an idea that I have been working um, for a while, um, I mean for a decade now, but uh, uh, now I'm, more, I'm working more on that. Now, in this year, I mean, uh, in all this year I have, I have been working in this series that is called The Real World. Um, uh, and I also, um, let me, I'm sorry, I prepared something. <laughs> So we're here. Um, yeah, like uh, I like to say that also that I have been represented basically by a gallery that is uh, located in Mexico City. Um, it was first time. Uh, it was uh, at first called uh, Praxis Mexico, and now it's a uh, it's Alfredo Ginocchio Gallery. And, but uh, nevertheless, I have been working here um, for 10 years, for 11 years now, because I choose to live here. And um, I mean, after 10 years living in Mexico, I moved to, to, to the States. I went to Miami. I was living in Miami three years. And then I moved, I moved to, to, to here, to New York. And um, if you want to know more about me, uh, you can you can visit my website. It's uh, it's called I uh, said the address is o o o f i l o f i l l art dot com. And there is a lot of information over there. I built it myself with uh, the help of a, a great programmer and a graphic designer. And I I am very proud of that website actually. You can go and, and even um, there is a section you can read 
a lot of texts from my uh, favorite uh, <laughs> favorite writers ever. <laughs> no, I mean it's a joke. Uh, uh, but uh, it um, uh, you you can find um, actually a lot of texts that that uh, um, words and and. Um, Good words, actually, not only uh, uh, exalt, exalt, exalting my my personality or my work, but about talking about um, many uh, philosophical uh, examinations that they have uh, made uh, in in regard to my work, and I think they they would you know a, a re, a read if you if you have the time, and uh, you can visit a, a section that is. Uh, about paintings from a decade, actually, or a little bit more, actually, from 2001 to to the date. Uh, I have to update it actually, but it's 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 a lot to see over there. And um, a section about my movies, uh, moving pictures or pictures in motion is something I have been developing uh, whilst living in New York since 2009. And now, because we don't have so much time, uh, I will I will start with my presentation, um, my paintings. How is uh, let, let me see how this works. Only with the right. This is um, I, I will show only um, a paintings, three paintings from last year and three paintings from this year. And uh, coincidentally, coincidentally, I discovered that uh, uh, the three paintings from last year are from this series of mine, it's called Moonbeams, that uh, I, everything is, has been created here in New York. Everything is oil on canvas. You can see the, the sizes over there. They are not really uh, small sizes. I, I'm uh, working in, in uh, uh, big formats now, and um, uh, what else? Uh, everything is about motion, and it's about moving on, and I'd like to add that um, this is po Punto de Vista, uh, which is like, uh, for the people who doesn't uh, speak uh, the Spanish, is like ba the vanishing point, but never, then again, if I choose to, I mean, uh, the titles are sometimes in Spanish, sometimes sometimes in English, and sometimes I choose to to make both. Actually, you can if you are brave enough to buy uh, uh, my book. There is a book uh, in Amazon that you can buy uh, that is called El Mundo de los Vivos. The real world is only one one title, and it's about um, uh, I mean a lot of. Uh, paintings. Uh, this is red bag. It's a little bit more aesthetic, I think. Again, something more. It's something about motion uh, and focus on this red, red um, uh, kind of bag. It's kind of abstraction. I'm uh, developing more uh, an abstract interest at the moment. I was uh, a little bit more realistic uh, in the past. Uh, and this is um, inner space. Again, you know, you can see. I think it's, it's um, you can you can see. Um, uh, I don't know something about the city that all of us has a, has a, have a, uh, ex experimented in, in, while living in, in, in New York. Um, and then this is more recent. Golden Wall is again something about this office building I I have been working in. Uh, this year, actually, but I have been working in this series for a long time since since 2001. Every every time I have a chance, I do something about this uh, offices building. That uh, the series was created while I was living in Mexico City, actually, not living here in New York only. Um, this is a temple, uh, this which is is like a like a Roman temple with six columns and, and you can see, I mean it's kind of small, the, the reproduction in here, but um, uh, there are offices again, um, 
that represents this a kind of Roman temple, a classic <laughs> Roman temple. And this one is uh, what I, ha I could call a prophetic one because it's called One Percent. That's the title. Mm -hmm. And if you are, um, if you, I don't know, may turn your head a little bit, you can see something like a One Percent. Um, uh, yeah. show it over there I mean uh, but still it's a it's a an offices building uh, and um, this is about the paintings so the the movie I wanted to project uh, okay how is this we're good we're good with time yeah okay uh, this is I wanted I wanted to uh, where is it yeah, to, to video to, yep Back when I was, back when I was dead, look. I, okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, this video is um, it's, uh, something I, I have been working for. I mean, I, I, uh, I was interested in um, not only p a, a, showing the paintings, but um, I mean, the, my interest in, in, in static, in, in something like a traditional painting, but in, in doing something more, uh, I moved to, to, to film in this series, I think, and I have um, a little bit inventing because it's something I have, I have been thinking about that I can make not only photographs, but uh, moving photographs, and so, yeah, you can you can start the video. The video is called, this one is called the the corner. It's not it's not it doesn't have any any sound and. Um, this Ophelia, is the um, the video work that you do an extension of your. I think so. Painting. Yeah. Can you I, talk a little bit about that, please. Yeah, I think so. exactly. Like I I was uh, doing the, the the paintings. I was um, working in motion and 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 thinking that that. Actually, I add something to my CV now that is uh, my motto, and my motto is uh, is now like I mean something I think is kind of new in my in, in everything for me. Like uh, I, I say this uh, like not standing um, still. This is now my motto. It will be for a while, uh, and um, but. The pictures in motion is something I have even defined because even making this investigation from the 60s and the Warhol, the you know that those stills, uh, those m movies about you know all, all of you know for, for sure the Empire State and, and all of those 30 30 minutes long, um, I'm sorry 30 hours long and eight hours long some of those. So I'm making kind of 30 minutes uh, movies that you can you can um, see it uh, in the gallery, show it as a, as a traditional photograph, but they are moving. They are, they are not static anymore. Uh, like this one, for instance, uh, which is a reflection um, that I found. Um, everything is something I, I find in, in um, all over the city. I'm doing walking. Uh, with my camera, and I, I, I find something to portrait, and I, uh, I, I, I put my stationary camera, and I film it. Uh, but and I, w I like to finish with this t statement, which is about the, the the picture in motion itself, which says that a picture in motion is a loop motion picture film made from footage seen, I mean, uh, between parentheses, seen or auction recorded on, on film or video and intended to be appreciated as a photography in motion. And this is my investigation about, but it's, it's going on. It's not, um, I'm just in the middle of this um, uh, investigation. So uh, this is all. Thank Th you, Ophelia. Thank you very much. <laughs>